Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are actually going to be discussing my routine. Um, so we're switching it up a little bit and just so that you guys can get like a full understanding of what it's like to live um, day to day like myself um, and how I get Harper ready basically all of that thing, all of those things. So we're gonna be covering all of that. Um, before I start, I personally feel like a routine is the absolute most crucial thing to establish in your life only because without a routine, or at least for myself, without a routine, I just feel completely lost, right? Because it's almost like if you don't have a routine, you're not setting yourself up for success. You're just kind of going through the motions and it's just so important to have a routine set, to have it established, you know, ready to go. So um, that, and it just puts you, it sets, um, it sets the precipice for the day. It sets you up for success. And you know, you, you know, you're not scrambling, you know, that you've got a set routine and you're not like all over the place and super disorganized and all that stuff. So, and for one, you know, speaking of being, um, organized, I love lists. So, um, part of my routine is making lists and making sure that I follow, at least try to follow that list as, as, um, as close as I can. Um, so basically I'm going to walk you through everything. So 6 a.m. I am waking up before Harper. So I'm waking up. I'm getting out of bed. I, this is going to sound crazy, but I learned this from Mel Robbins. If you guys ever listen to any of her podcasts or read her books or even watch her YouTube uh, videos and things like that, five, four, three, two, one method. It is seriously the best method for getting yourself up, just getting it, get you ready. You know, um, I have been using this method for quite some time. So basically what it is, it's pretty simple. You have five, four, three, two, one, and you count down. And as soon as you hit one, you're just up. And it somehow like programs your mind to tell yourself you are going to get up no matter what it is, no matter what excuse you have, you are going to get up, you are going to get up, get out of bed because that is going to set your mood and the rest of the day um, if you stick to that method. So I wake up at 6 a.m., um, do that five, four, three, two, one method. I'm washing my face, uh, brushing my teeth, getting um, ready to go. Harper at the moment is still sleeping. Um, just so you guys know, we put her to bed around 7 p.m. and um, she wakes up around 7 a.m. Um, not all the time. Sometimes she wakes up around 6.30, 6.45, but um, it's been pretty consistent. So knock on wood that stays like that. So um, 6.30, I am getting Harper's lunch ready to go. Um, I wanna make sure that I have everything prepared so that again, I'm not rushing around. I'm not um, just going all over the place, going through the motions. I have a set schedule and I know exactly what I'm about to do. At 7 a.m., I actually have these written down um, just so that I can stay in line with what I'm about to say. 7 a.m., um, Harper wakes up. Harper wakes up. I get her diaper changed. I get her actually dressed for the day um, just because, again, that's part of my routine. And before, what I would do is I would wake her up. She'd have breakfast. And then um, I would get her up for the day and stuff like that. Or I would change her. And, and then I would um, get different clothes on her and what have you. Um, 8 a.m., I, um, I'm sorry, 7.30, I make breakfast for her and I. Um, usually for breakfast, I'm not super, super hungry in the morning. So I will either have a handful of fruit or I'll quick um, make some oatmeal 
a little bit of almond butter or um, PB2 protein powdered peanut butter. Wow, say that five times fast. Um, I put some peanut butter in there and um, whip that up. And for Harper, I give her um, a little bit of fruit and um, we have some scrambled eggs. So it's pretty simple. Uh, let's see, eight o'clock, leave for burn boot camp. That has been my number one routine going to the gym from, I mean, last September. So I get the car started, we leave for burn, burn boot camp, um, we're out the door. 8.30, get there, work out, have an intense workout. Um, and, and I think the reason why I love um, to incorporate or incorporate that into my routine is because when I get to the gym, you guys, I have such a clear mind after I work out, right? Because like your adrenaline's pumping, your endorphins are going, like you feel so great, or at least I do whenever I work out, you know, I get a nice like little workout session in, I'm good for the day. And then I can go on and do whatever I was going to do. Um, 10 a.m. I drop Harper off at daycare. Um, and then I come back home usually. And at 10.30, I catch up on some emails. Um, what else? I, around 11.30, 12 o'clock, I'm eating lunch. Uh, one o'clock, I am um, usually in like work meetings with my fiance. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, he owns a construction business. I'm not sure if he mentioned that in his last, in the last video, but, um, he owns a construction business and we specialize in storm restoration work. Um, I do the advertising slash marketing side of things. Um, but when it's cold outside, which if you live in Wisconsin, you never know what the weather's going to be like. So yeah, it's like 30, it was 30 degrees today, but most of the times it's anywhere from 20 degrees or below. I mean, it's, it's, it's awful, but that's besides the point. Um, when work is slow, when, um, the weather is the way it is, we are slow with work. So we do a lot of, I do a lot of work from home and he does as well. Um, so that's it. Just like catching up on emails, catching up on phone calls, um, you know, setting up, um, social media posts and things like that for our business page. Um, so if you guys want, I would love for you guys to check out our construction business, although this is not what the topic is about, but we are Briggs Family Home and Develop, excuse me, Briggs Family Home Development. Um, and we are a local construction company outside of Oregon, Wisconsin. And um, we mostly specialize in siding and roofing and um, we are going to be getting into um, the remodeling end of things as well. So I have been at this for uh, going on almost two years now, and I really like it. Um, so after that, um, I typically pick up Harper. Um, if we don't have any doctor's appointments and things like that, I typically pick her up right on the 3.30, 4 o'clock mark. Um, and we come back home and I mean, you know, I'm getting um, her ready to have dinner. Um, you know, I'm playing with her for a little bit. Um, and then Alex usually makes dinner. So he's making dinner while I'm getting her ready, getting dinner prepared for her. Then we have dinner and then um, I finish up with a little bit more emails and then we pretty much um, wind down for the evening. And what I like to do as well, um, as far as nightly routine goes, I'm going to kind of keep this short, but when I head to bed at night, um, I make sure that, um, I know it's going to sound kind of weird, but I'm all about positivity and, and, um, um, just the energy that you give off, um, what you put out there is, is what you're going to attract, right? So if I had a really, really like shitty day, um, I make sure that at the end of the night, I am going to bed with, um, not only like a clear head, but, a, um, just that, you know, I'm winding down for the night 
and I'm ready to hit my head on the pillow. Um, but before that I do that, I either um, read um, something a little more light, like positive, or I listen to um, a podcast. And recently I got introduced to this amazing author. I don't know if you guys have heard of her, but her name is Brene Brown. She's very well known. Um, she basically um, was a re is a researcher for um, she studied shame. She, sh she, she studied shame. She studied guilt. Um, she studied embarrassment, all those things. And, um, if you guys have never listened to her podcast, you have got to listen to her podcast, but to put a long story short, um, she just kind of puts my mind at ease and just, you know, I think it's important when you guys are winding down for the evening, you know, what, whatever type of like industry you're in, I think it's super important to just set your mood and, and just be like at a, you want to be at a calm state, right? So whether you're into meditation, whether it's, you know, you're listening to nature sounds, I listen to that one before I go to bed. I highly, highly think that's so important. Um, and, and you should really, establish that you should really establish is not the correct word um you should really um sort of use that in your routine and i think that that's gonna help and you know we're not all gonna have like really perfect sunshiny butterfly days right so i think that incorporating these types of things into your routine is so so crucial um but Thanks for watching. If you could please so subscribe down below and um, check out my website. It is fitmamabosslife.com. Um, and I will actually put that in the link in the description below. Um, but thank you so much for watching, you guys. And just um, keep those things in mind as far as like when you're winding down for the evening. I just think that that's so, so important. Um, thanks again. And, um, I am, I will see you in the next video. Bye.